How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, enjoying hanging out with you here today. Yay! Would you share yep. a little bit about you are for your profession? Yes. Yep. I'm a physical therapist. I've been a PT yeah. for 25 years. Wow, that's a long time. Where are you based out? Iowa. Iowa. Yeah. And will you share just a little bit of your story of how you became a coach and sure. why you think coaching is a good addition to being a PT? Yeah, it was interesting. I actually connected with the health coaching program because one of the members of my fitness center lost 100 pounds with the program. Wow. So that was an aha to me that I saw a program that provided healthy habits, simple structure to get healthy and to stay healthy. For myself at the time, I was 50 pounds overweight, so I needed to do something. And even though I owned the gym, I owned the PT clinic, I was still 50 pounds overweight. So I liked the structure of the program also to get healthier myself. And I saw that it was something also that was great for the patients coming through our doors. You know, obviously we've got a lot of hands-on time with folks that are coming in, 30 to 45 minutes per session. So for my staff as PTs or PTAs to be able to have that hands-on opportunity, it's tangible. You know, people are vulnerable and they're looking for additional help beyond just the functional rehab, the functional improvement. It's been a great opportunity for people to move forward with their overall health goals, not just the range of motion, not just their strength. Does it make an impact? Have you noticed over time? How many years have you been a health coach? I've been a health coach for nine years. Wow. Okay. So yeah. is, is there any patterns that you've noticed as far as healing or the speed of healing or any difference? Definitely. Tell yeah. me about that. Yeah. I've found that healing you know, from the standpoint of mobility and function is increased significantly as people's nutrition, activity, hydration, stress management, sleep health, all those things improve. And then being in community is another factor too that I find medium to long term helps people to sustain those results. Tell me about how you built community as a yeah. you're a PT coach. Yeah, yep, PT coach. So the community is obviously being connected with other peers. Obviously, we do a lot of stuff through social media, you know, through Facebook also, people just being connected with things that are going to help them, motivate them, healthy recipes, those types of things. Mm -hmm. So you're doing social media for community so people can support each other, accountability, yes. yeah. and then also in person, yeah? Yeah. Tell me yeah. about that. Local, regional events that are uh -huh. in person. You know, obviously, I'm in Iowa, so we do events in Iowa, but I have some of my other peers that I'll connect with periodically that are in different states. This next week, I'll be in Kentucky, wow. Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C., so... Nice. Uh, at this point, with doing the coaching on a regular basis, I can travel, yeah. so that's And fun. you're teaching basically, and is it PTs mostly that you focus on? That's correct. So you're, you're teaching PTs how to brand themselves as a wellness and optimal health professional. Exactly. Nice. Yep. Optimal health and well-being. And, and I've branded myself here, just from a practice standpoint now, over the past couple of years, proactive PT coach. Nice. So that, that's the branding that I've done for myself and at some level helping others to meld that or mesh that at some level. Yeah, because a lot of PTs may not understand the value of helping someone get healthy and they might not understand the value of branding themselves. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Congratulations. And tell Thank me you. just a little bit about how being a coach has helped your overall well-being in life. Yeah, I'd say over the past 10 years, my personal development and obviously my you want to call it my health quotient has improved significantly i lost 50 pounds almost 10 years ago i feel better i'm back to playing tennis and I, i'm on the verge of turning 50. i'd say my 40s were a lot better than my 30s and i look at that just in terms of longevity you know going forward over this next decade or next couple decades you know i'm not turning back so i've seen that for myself and even the things that we talked about stress management you know so that the mental clarity the mental health has been another side benefit thank you for being yes. a pioneer well it's, it's good i yep. need you thank, thank you, you.